Jalen Brunson out there with Hardaway. And it's Doncic in at the three, the small forward. And for the Hornets, the guard spots are filled by Ball and Rogier. Hayward out there with Washington. Checking in, Check in for Maxi Kleba. Number and he's got his one. first chance at the line here. At the line for your Hornets, Gordon Hayward. One shot. And it's hard to believe that Gordon Hayward has been playing for over a decade in the NBA. Now a seasoned vet firmly in the second half of his career. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. Dishes at the ball. To Rogier. Just four to shoot. Washington, that's for two. And good. At the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. And Hayward has had a bit of a career renaissance lately, looking more and more like his old self. Yeah, and Kevin, it's just great to see him playing at this level again. I think it's testament to how much he loves the game of basketball, as well as how badly this guy wants a chance to win a championship. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. Doncic has got seven. One. Hornets leading by four. Ball kicks to Rozier. Back to Ball. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Eight points for him. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Two points. Stolen by Ball. Pass to Rogier. Passes it to Washington. Shot clock at five. Here's Ball. And that one hits back iron. So for the Hornets, their last game, a win against the Atlanta Hawks. Hardaway passes to Q. Back to Hardaway. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Here's Q. Hardaway, no good. The Hornets have gone 7 of 11 from the field to begin the game. Hayward outside. There's the pass to Paul. Two minutes. Slams it in. Yeah, the basketball IQ is already so impressive. I love seeing ball get crafty and take it the sense. Pass to Q. Feeds it to Hardaway. And that one, good. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. And here's Rogier. He brings it up for the Hornets. Six-point game. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. Yeah, I mean, we saw them do a little bit of everything in that game. Showed a lot of versatility. Yeah, the offense looked cohesive last night. Whatever challenge the opposition presented, well, they had some time. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Jones checked in for Plumlee. Okershevsky's come in for P.J. Washington. Kelly Oubre's checked in for Gordon Hayward. And book night comes in for Terry Rozier. And the Mavericks are going for a different look here. Rounds checked in for Pazingas. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. Burke, he's checked in for Doncic. And it's Hill in for Jalen Brunson. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Count it good. And that was the correct play to make. George Hill a very discerning playmaker. George Hill. Hornets leading by six. Pass to Book Knight. 52 seconds left from the first quarter of the game. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Brown. And the Hornets making a change here. McDaniels checked in. For your Hornets, Jalen McDaniels. Six to shoot. 
Here's Jones. It's rebounded by Dallas. Last time they met was in Dallas. And the last time these two met, they were able to get a big win because of that bench production. Second unit might be a factor in this one as well. That's just something to keep in mind. Their reserves are operating at a high level. So tough to And he knocks down the first one. Dorian Finney-Smith at the line for two. He hits both from the strike. Here's Book Knight. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Atlanta. Oubre outside. Twenty-four seconds left in the first quarter. Now here's Book Knight. He's covered by Brown. Swiped away. And now the fast break. Hill with the ball. No good from Q. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Oh, I'm always surprised when it doesn't happen. I'm sure these two will have a good laugh about it later. Lamelo Ball getting it done for the Hornets. Scoring, rebounding. He was all over the place during that quarter. They are writing his performance right now. Ben. And the step back is shot that's become a staple for the league's top scorers. Case in point, Gordon Hayward among that group. And uh, I really like the step back move, being at 6 8. On a mini move. Checking in. A new group on the floor now for Charlotte. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. To the inside, Hugh. Good. Number and the assist one. goes to Doncic. Q's got six. A playmaker of Doncic's talents wasn't missing that gap. He quickly gets the ball to the wide open man. Out in the wings for them, Rogier and Hayward. Washington out there with Plumley, and it's ball. And it's the one. So that's the Hornets five. Well, they'll take that. But they gotta find a better shot than that on their next trip. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Q in their last matchup against the 76ers played some superb ball. He had 15 points, and his aggressiveness allowed him to make an impact in the charity stripe as well. And his contributions off the bench were huge. He was a real spark plug. Kevin, let's see if he can do it again. Thanks, David. You know, GA, you wonder how much of that performance can carry over into this one. You never really know what will happen game to game, but I sure wouldn't bet against him. Yeah, well, he made it look easy last time, Ron. I mean, he's in sync from the get-go. We'll see, though, if he can replicate that rhythm tonight. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. And so here's Charlotte. Charlotte in the lead. One twenty-one left in the first half. Passes it to Hayward. Now, here's Washington. It's rebounded by Brunson. Right wing. Here's Q. Here's Persingas. And he finishes nicely Persingas. on the way. Persingas. Persingas has got the lead up to one now for the man. And not hard to see why they're on the bad end of this run. Just not doing the job on that defensive backboard. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. And it falls over the rim and in. Rozier's got six points. He's so aggressive at that end of the floor. And that's a quality all great scores have. Q passes to Brunson. Hugh. He's guarded by Plumley. Shot clock at six. Here's Q. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And then with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they save the layup. The Mavericks have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. And, and when you got a team percentage of about 81%, you're going to be one of the elites in this league. Okashevsky's checked in for Charlotte. 
Doncic with the steal. Out to the right wing. Floats it up for Doncic. And stolen by Hayward. And so it's tied as we head to halftime. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. One, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even. Checking in. Oh, an almost Andrew. entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Jones checked in for Plumlee. Pokershevsky's come in for Washington. Kelly Oubre's checked in for Gordon Hayward. And Book Knight comes in for Terry Rozier. On the floor for Dallas, we've got Q. Reggie Bullock is out there with Trey Burke. Then there's Brown. And it's Finney Smith in at the three. And so many incredible talents in the game today, Chris. Is there one play who you enjoy watching the most right now? Uh, I can't see one Kevin out of the moment. I can give you a list though. Let's try to make it quick. Uh, let's see. Let's start with uh, Durant, Harden. Uh, let's go to uh, LeBron. Let's go to Kyrie. Uh, you want to go to Spider? Man up there in Utah, uh, you can take me down to Giannis. Number uh, walk one. Walk in and see the Greek freak. I mean, uh, should I keep going? We got some great players in the league, man. It's in great hands. I'm a fan of them all. In the NBA, introducing new measures to discourage fan misconduct. Greater security and pursuing legal action, Chris, when that line is crossed. Yeah, Kyle. We live in interesting times, man. You may need to blow off steam, but... One. I'll tell you this, the players are here to entertain, but not as punching bags. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. And a little hook that time, but it drops. An alert play on the part of Washington. He's a much stronger player. He shows the type of awareness and unselfishness. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. 153 left to play here in the third. Hugh passes to Finney Smith. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. They have been bored dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Basket counts. Kelly. And now Ooh. it's a drought point on its lead. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle steps for Charlotte? All those block shots, that's a clear indicator of the great D they've been playing. Not giving them an inch of space out there. But also, they put the offense on its heel. Look at the number of steals they've been able to get. And that's something they also can take great pride in. One ten left to play in the third. Five on the clock. Q passes to Bullock. There's the triple. Poked away. And out of bounds as the Hornets gain possession. That's just the neatest giveaway. You gotta make the defense work for their turnovers. Mavericks Hardaway's checked in for the Mavericks. Jalen Brunson comes in for Burke. Jalen Brunson. Here's Pokrzewski. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Hardaway with it. Washington's on him. Hello. I mean, that's what I call a move. Woo. That is some artistry. Greg, you're right. On his way to the basket, he was soaring. Ball against Brunson. And that one is off. Some solid defense from Q. To the right side. Here's Finney Smith. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Yeah, he just punched a ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. Ball with the bucket. Such a consistent night for him from the field. Whenever they needed it, he's been their safety guy. 
There's the lob to Brown. And out of bounds as the Hornets gain possession. An easy pass turns into a terrible turnover. Checking in for the Mavericks. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets going into the break with a 10-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. A chance now to hear Jason Kidd talking to his team moments ago. We're not talking to each other. Offensively or defensively, let's talk. Mavericks the ball, he's checked in for book night. Q, he's checked in for the Mavericks. The guard spots are filled by Ball and Rogier. Then there's Plumley, and it's Hayward. And it's Bob Kusevsky in at the power forward position. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. That free throw good from Q. Both free throws good from Q. Wrong guy to put on the line in a close game. You know he's not going to miss. Outside ball. Back to Rogier. It's blocked. Q. He's covered by Washington. Here's Q. Makes it off the glass. Q's got four points now in the quarter. And that's a perfect setup. Solid screen. Defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the puck. Surveying the defense. Floats one, and it's good on the way The Balls get 23. It's a huge hoop. I mean, I love to see him answer the ball. Always steps up. Dallas calls timeout. They're trailing by four. We've got 148 left in the game. And now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, LaMelo Ball. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. Well, that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. And there's the foul. It's on two. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. A good lead. It's even better with excellent work. Mavericks have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively. Shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. Second chance shot. No good from Q. He's got to do a better job making the deep pay for their mistakes. Brunson against Ball. Lock at six. Nice D from Porzingis. Very aggressive defense to prevent the easy layer. In the corner, Hardaway with it. Count! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, and they aren't just chucking up anything. They're doing a great job of creating quality looks. It drops. Oh, Fantastic oh, job. They were one of the most versatile oh, oh, players in the league. Showing his own some pitch. Runs in the pass to Q. Out to Doncic. Right side, Berzingis. And too long on the shot. Uh, you can't look at the result of that right. shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. You're exactly right. That's, That's the second. kind of shot. And so it's the Hornets taking care of business in this one. 
some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester, and that's why they're going to walk away with the win. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Chris...